Hi, Shelly. This is Josh from Josh and Danny SEO. I'm sending you over that video of how to improve your online presence. So just starting out looking at your website, you got a pretty good header. You have everything you're looking for. Um, the one thing that is missing is that click to call. So that'll get that quick action from customers that are coming to your site. So they'll be able to contact you right away instead of getting lost in the website. Now, just going through, um, it does say you want to, uh, that you service the Katy, Sugar Land, and Greater Houston Metro, which is awesome, showing exactly where where you service, as well as down here is what you service. Um, just going through, you have an awesome gallery of all the previous work that you've done, or some of the previous work that you've done. And then just going through, saying what's all about um, what you do, which is awesome. And then what I am seeing is that there isn't a lot of content. So I see only about 250 tops, maybe 300 words. Uh, what Google is looking for is 1,500 to 2,000 keywords. That's their sweet spot when they crawl your site. Now, another thing they are looking for as well is keywords put throughout your site. What a keyword is, is those uh, is buyer intent words that people will search in order to find your service. So let's take a look behind the scenes at your website. We have a tool called Ahrefs, which allows us to peek behind the curtains and see what's going on. So for your site, you have a strength rating, which is our UR rating, our Google strength of 13, and our domain rating, which is the Google trust that they put in you of about well, 0.8. What you're really looking for is between 30s and 40s. That's that sweet spot. And you're also looking for a ratio of one to one. Now, the way you get that is through backlinks. Now, what a backlink is, is any link that leads back from someone else's website to yours. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. Um, for example, Wikipedia, that's a very spammy link. So if you do have something from Wikipedia, that would actually count against you. And a good backlink would be from a strong painter's blog. That would be something they'll be like, hey, a painter's blog connected to a painting website. That's awesome. Now, another thing that Google searches for is those keywords I mentioned before, those buyer intent keywords. Now, let's take a look at what your buyer intent keywords are. So most of the keywords that Google says your site has are not buyer intent. They're leading, they might get traffic, but they're leading to the blog you have on your website. All the useful tips that you have, they're not leading for buyer intent. So people that are coming to your website aren't there to buy. Now, the first buyer intent keyword that you're that you have is painting in Katie, which has that 200 search volume. And you're only getting two people organically to actually come to your website to buy because you're on the second page, you're on position 14, which is page two. Now let's check about those uh, buyer intent keywords. So we put in painters, Katie, Texas, where you're located. So the first thing that pops up is those ads. So these are the people that are choosing to pay per click. So they might be at the top, but if someone clicks on them, they actually pay for every time someone clicks on this. So I'm not gonna do that. However, they also get, them, get more people because they're at the top. Now, the second thing is the Google Map Pack. Now, this is super important to get on because 30 to 40% of all people stop right here and they choose the top three of the Google Map Pack because that's just the quickest and it's the top three, they must be good. Um, so that's why they, um, it's super important to get on this. And then of course you have your organic rankings. So you're gonna have your Yelp, your Home Advisor, your Angie's List, and then you have your first and biggest competitor. So katiepainting.net. So if we look at their website, very similar to yours, they have their logo, they have um, their header. The only thing different, they have a, a click to call right in the middle, which 
I wouldn't necessarily recommend. I would have it in the corner just so it's easier to notice because this can get lost. Um, and then just going through, they have a very small website, um, only around 250 words, essentially like yours. Um, now, when we put them in Ahrefs, we see behind the scenes. So they have a strength rating of 14 and a trust rating from Google of 19. So they are close to that golden ratio, but they're nowhere near the 30, 40s that we want. And they only have about 18 backlinks. So not that crazy to beat. Um, let's check out their keywords though. They only have 22, but let's check out what they are. So their keywords are all great keywords for the most part. They have Katie Painting, Katie pa Painter. And I know that's kind of cheating because they're called Katie Painting, but it's still a great keyword. Um, Katie Painter, Painting Katie Texas, Katie Painters, they're all stuff that have a, vo a search volume every month of 200, which since they're ranked on the first page, they're getting that organic traffic. So they're taking all of that. So if we're looking to start beating them out um, and getting um, ranked higher, what we're looking for, as I said before, Shelly, it's that 1,500 to 2,000 keyword or words, along with all those keywords um, that what that Katie Painting is using. All those Katie Painter, Painting Katie, get all of those keywords mixed in with those 1,500 to 2,000 keywords so Google can start saying this is a true website, as well as getting those backlinks up. So we want as many as possible. And as I said before, all backlinks aren't created equal. So we wanna get those good backlinks. So Google says this person is trustworthy um, and this website is trustworthy. We're gonna start ranking them higher. And once you do that, you can start getting that organic traffic towards your buyer intent higher because this traffic is more towards your informational section, not towards people actually coming for your service. So once you get that up, you'll start getting that traffic to um, to your buyer intent for people looking for your service, not necessarily for info. And once you do, you'll start getting those more. You'll start getting those people through the door. Now, Shelley, I hope you found this um, helpful. Um, if you like what you saw, you can always reach back out to me. And as always, I'd love to hear some feedback. And otherwise, you have a blessed rest of your day.